everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about chapter nine in The Accidental Divorcee by Laura Scott. If you haven't already picked up a copy, I highly recommend it. I'm gonna put a link in the description below so you can get your hands on a copy. If you're like me and you like to have a physical copy of a book, um, this is a great resource to start with if you're unfortunately going through a divorce. There's a lot of great knowledge and different testimonies that is throughout this book that you can really relate to. I personally love the stories of other people. It's not just an opinion book. It's, hey, this is what happened to this person. So I really found that relatable and I enjoyed it. It was a very easy read for me. I like to highlight and tab things to refer back to. So if you want to get a copy, highly recommend it. It's also um, available on Kindle as well. But this entire series, we go through each episode. And if you have any comments, questions, and or concerns, please feel free to put them in the comment section in the video and we'll try to address it. Um, yeah, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. It really does help keep it going. We do have a Facebook community as well. So if you need someone to talk to, or you have a question, please feel free to add in a question, comment, anything you want into that Facebook group. It's a place where you could speak freely and not be judged. Um, ask questions, best practices, ideas, or just to really vent to. Um, so I hope to see you there. Please be sure to like it and um, yeah, stop by and say hi. So without further ado, let's get started into chapter nine, how being single is different than being married. The process of individualization. Like divorce itself, individualization is a process. It's learning a new way of thinking about your life and circumstances. It's becoming used to making decisions alone again. It's a lot like the teenager learning to drive. It's very nerve wracking at first, but eventually it comes naturally. Another part of individualization is similar to being a teen. Acting out and living on the edge helps you become an individual again. It's also a dance, one step forward, two steps back. One important note about individualization is just realize it'll happen over time and you really don't need to actively do anything to make it happen. As you live your life, you will begin to think like a solo act again. One thing that will surely come with new single status is the yin and the yang of experiencing new things in combination with longing for your old life. It's a hard time. Eventually you will realize that life is happening now and that you need to get moving again. It's challenging like climbing a big mountain, but by learning to make decisions and to grow on your own, you will develop stamina and find muscles and abilities that you didn't know you had or you forgot you will be able to let go of the past and realize that the future is full of possibilities, but it might take some time. 